Praise the Lord, mightiest prophet of the Lord. Well, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me, beloved people. The Lord Jehovah Shalom. Jehovah Rophe, Jehovah Rapha. The Lord that healed thee. In the book of Exodus, chapter 15, verse 26. The Lord is speaking to me about the glorious coming of the Messiah. He has spoken with me this past night, beloved people. And this past night, when the Lord spoke with me about the coming of the Messiah, He essentially spoke with me about the process of preparing the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. And I saw that I was at a place, and when I arrived at that place, I saw that the road was not good. It was a tarmac road, but somehow it had cracked. There was a crack which was close to the edge, the left edge, but it was running all along the road, not straight, of course. It was a crack, a crack on the tarmac road. And then the Lord Jehovah, he put me there, to start scraping the tarmac that had cracked. And then I began to lay forth a new tarmac, repairing all the broken places. Then I was working and working all through this, working all through this, working all through this. The Lord is speaking about the nations of the earth preparing the way in their hearts. is essentially talking about a Christian believer that is supposed to prepare the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. And then he showed me another group of people that were trying to patch up, patching up a tarmac road meaning they did not dig out the destroyed road and lay a new road, but they were trying to, to make patches on the road. And I think so is the present-day Christian life that the Lord has shown me now. The Lord was essentially showing me that instead of building a new way, they are patching up, they are finding portal and patching up, that in so doing, it is not durable. In so doing, it has the rudiments and the remnants of the old way, the old way with a capital W. And the Lord is asking for a complete overhaul of the Christian lifestyle. The Christian life of the believer has now to be completely overhauled. We need to dig out all, all the patches, all the cracks, so that we can lay a new road. Why? Because this is the moment at which heaven is open. The Lord has opened the portal in heaven to be able to communicate with the church. This is a treasured moment. This is the dispensation of open heaven the Lord Jehovah spoke about. And so, the process that taught overhauls and turns things around in the church is called repentance. It is not patching around, turn at 80 degrees uh, and then go back. It is a complete turnabout. Complete turning away. Conviction that I am headed to hell. This is sin. And turn your back to it and head in the opposite direction. So the Lord has spoken much in this process tonight, but he is essentially speaking about the preparing of the way, how his servant is preparing the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah, Hamelech, the King. And the Lord requires of the church that all people be right with him. All people be born again. All people be holy. Why? Why? Because time is over. 
the Messiah is coming. The day is coming, an irreversible day. The day of reckoning, the day of truth, when we will really know who has been born again. Who are the Christians that were really Holy Spirit filled? I have seen the Messiah coming. Oh, how beautiful that day will be. I will dance on that day. I will tell the nation, look, I told you this is what I meant. When I told you to prepare and you did not listen, this is what I meant. Irreversible. Irreversible. The day of reckoning. The day of truth. May the Lord bless you to find wisdom. To that, 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 to